Alejandro, very interesting article on ESPN.com right now by Bruce Schoenfeld about one Freddie Adu. Who? I know. He's still around? He is All sort right. of very, very on the fringe uh, of still around. It has been a long time, 15 years since he made his professional mm. debut in MLS with DC United. I was a DC United fan at that time. I remember Still it. are. Still, still am. Still am. Uh, you were a player in Major League Soccer at that time. What do you remember about the Freddie Adu phenomenon? From a player's perspective, players that had been in the league for a while by then, it was very hollow. It was without substance because we really hadn't seen what he could do at the professional level and everybody in and around Major League Soccer that had nothing to do with playing. Mm. But people at the offices and people at U.S. Soccer and people that were excited about the league and they were trying desperately to find something to get people excited about the league, they were putting Freddie Adu in a pedestal and in a platform that all of us, or most of us as players, were thinking, wait a minute, you don't just get up to that level without going through this sort of steps, with, without finding your way up to that level, not just being placed there by somebody saying, you know what, he's going to be the next great thing, simply because we see a talent there, but we're more interested in the marketing potential of what that talent could be. What do you remember about the talent? Because there's a high water point in Freddie Adu's career. In 2011, he plays for the U.S. in a Gold Cup final. What do you remember about him actually as a player? Left-footed kid with a lot of skill with the ball at his feet, change of pace, good in tight spaces, uh, could hit the ball pretty well with that left foot. But the problem is that there was no consistency. And, and if, if you just show me flashes, but then disappear for long stretches, then you're nothing but that, a flash. And I think that's how you can describe his career. It was, it was a flash. It was a moment in time that people kept saying, well, this is the moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. I can turn his career around. I can rescue his career. I can be the coach that gets the best out of Freddie Adu. And so many coaches went through that, and so many teams went through that. And in the end, you found that while it is a responsibility that we can all share, including MLS and UN Soccer and everybody that was involved in pushing Freddie Adu forward, it's also the responsibility of the player mm -hmm. who, in the end, bought into all the hype and forgot about truly, truly cultivating his talent and nurturing his talent. And, and, and when you don't do that, when you, you don't take care of, 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 the, of your own talent and you don't make sure you develop as a player, you end up becoming what he has become. And it's a, a, a might have been, a could have been story. In the article, he's quoted Freddie Dewey saying, I'm not ready to give it up. Uh, he's right at that critical age of 30. He hasn't played professionally since 2018 with the Las Vegas Lights. What are the odds that somebody, given those circumstances, can find their way back? I would say that the odds were, would be somewhat credible if he hadn't had 25 chances, mm. right? So everybody, because they in their mind may have pictures of what that talent was at one point, they think, you know what, maybe he can do something for us. Mm. Maybe we can get the best out of him. And then what you end up finding is that then other teams say, well, maybe we can put, we can put some uh, people on the seats. Mm. Maybe this name is uh, something that resonates with fans, at least in the short term. And clearly it's only in the short term, because in the long term he ends up going to a different team and ends up disappearing from the face of the earth. He may not believe he's done, but at the highest level, I don't think so. I, I don't think it's happening for him. And again, this is a responsibility that goes on Freddie Adu to some degree, but it goes on the hands of other people as well. That they kind of put Freddie Adu out there, and then when it failed, they kind of wash their hands and say, well, that's all Freddie. Well, yes, it, it is Freddie Adu to some degree, but there's other people that exposed this kid to something that he was not ready for. They knew it, but for them it was important because it was a marketing strategy and it was a way of getting people interested in Major League Soccer. Mm. There you have it. Freddie Adu, a man of many chances. Allah will have to wait and see if he gets another.